our solid recluser, our controller, and auxiliary transformer. And this is the pole type, this is the uh, H pole type, and this is the substation type of installation. Và chắc sau đó chúng mỗi nâng đi xong nâng phá Mơ tự lỡ là xong đi trò viên đại gọt Đi xa anh chú mọc đi miền chìa rộp hết À miền là xích dĩa Xong rồi là bóc nâng Transformer Tại cái này xong gọt miền đôi tình nông mà rộp hiếp Tình nông mà gọt thì Mà phải ra So this is the, our solid recloser installed in the different sites Also our solid recloser installed in some the con uh, substation of Guatemala. So before the installation, you need the visual inspection of the breaker and controller. And then before the installation, you also have to perform the test, proper testing if our equipment is already fine. <coughs> Inspection for installation is maybe in circuit breaker control box and connection support to monitor the board. So here we go to our EBRC 2A NT controller, which stands to this type of controller. And this is dedicated for the recloser controller. So this is the history of our controller. We are currently supplying this NT type, but we have started from the EBRC to a type. Digital and you can see the remote remote support the remote code the NT3 and the remote code 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 So in the EBRC 2A type, only DMP3 and both bus was supported. Our first generation, it was EBRC 2A. We only supported BSP3 and the mode was protocol. But since the 2A end, we have added the network function. And in the EBRC 2A NT now, we have a, a voltage. We can have a voltage measurement and the three phase of the source side, and then we can also have a voltage measurement in the three phase of the load side. So that's the, the thing changed from our NT controller. And this is the specification or the control, uh, control functions that can be supported for different kinds of relays. But you can just see, you can refer to this table to compare the different products, but just be aware that our supply product will be EBRC to a and T. So you can refer to this table. Và chắc tôi chú mùi nâng rô phép tính rô dưỡng như là tham ô bà trẻn hạt mùi phép rô nê kê thiêu in our control box. We have relay module, we have capacitor band for the, the more force of operation, we have battery, terminal block, UPS module, and heater and outlet, and we have a miniature circuit breaker, and the GSM modem. 
So this is the layout of our internal structure of the controller. Maybe later on you can see the internal structure through our sample provided in the outside. So this is the relay module here. And this, this space is for the user available space. You can locate the modem here. And our battery is located here. So I, maybe I'll give you a more detailed explanation with, with the, our sensor. This is the dimension of our control box, so you can refer this later. And this is how our relay module looks like. So this is the front panel and this will be the side panel. So this is a microprocessor-based digital controller. So you can have different features like protection, control, and monitoring, and remote, remote control. So this is a summary of the, the different parts uh, indicator in our control panel, but I will discuss more detail in the next slide. So from here, this is a voltage condition part. So there are four LEDs with the notation of the RC designation, where 27 means the under voltage pickup. So 59 over voltage pickup. So in this way, when the LED is on for this 27 LED, it means that there is some under voltage happen to your line. So by using, by looking at this part, you will be able to identify the problem in your line. Uh, and in the system status, you can see the two LED here. One is the control run. So this LED should always be turned on, so that it means your controller is running normally. But if the LED in the self check is on, that means our system is showing some kind of warning and then doing some self checking of. So. Through the events, you can check what kind of problem has occurred in our controller. This shows the, our recruiter sequence status. So we have three LED here. One is reset, one is cycle, one is lockout. This means that when the LED is on in the reset status, then it means our recloser is in the normal status and there is no any trip or close operation. It is just in the closed status with the normal current flow. But when it is in the side call LED, it means the recloser is performing its operations such as trip close or trip close. So when, whenever a recloser is doing its Operation, then there will be LED in the cycle. And whenever the recloser goes to lockout status, which means the permanently open because of the permanent fault, then there will be lockout LED here. 
dịch a chết một lần chết rồi ở đây thì đứng yên ở hai đôi thì rất là khó lọc ái tại vì là anh quay mình And this is the part for the battery indicator. So here you can see AC supply uh, part. So whenever this LED is off, that means you have lost the AC power. So your controller should always have the AC power, so you have to be aware if this LED is off or not. But that's how you move for indicator to the effect LED and also with this AC supply we have a charge LED here so this shows that whenever there is an AC power our battery is automatically charged so you have to be aware that this LED should be always turned on so that it means it shows that your AC supply power is normal and your battery is properly charged. If your battery is not charged, whenever you, you lost your AC power, then your battery cannot provide the proper backup power. So you, it will let the controller to turn off, which will be very dangerous for your life. So you have to always check if the AC power is properly supplied and our battery is also properly charged. But the phone to more than AC power supply charge, it's charged in a particular step that's not a good thing to get done. Also by pressing this battery load test, if you press this button, then you will be able to see the screen in the LCD panel. You can see here, there is a load voltage and then you can see here, there is a charge voltage. So our battery will be two sets of 12 volts. So it will be totally 24. So this load voltage should always maintain around 24 volts. And this charge voltage should always maintain around 27. If it goes below like 24 or 23, that means your battery is not being charged. So it, it might be dangerous for the future. But at most, the the voltage of the battery is more than that. It is about 1 volt. So we can see the power of the battery is more than that. But the battery is more than that. And this is indicated by the red color. So from here, you can see that the which fault, which phase will have a fault. So whenever there is a fault in the phase A, then you will see here the red LED will turn on in the A part. If there is a fault in B phase, then you will see the LED in the B phase. So this shows you the fault indication for different phases A, B, C, and G. But that's all to move the fall indication is check more the LED is going to be sent to us for the next one to the next one to the next one. And this trick time part shows that which kind of fall has occurred. So whenever the light has a fall, there can be some instantaneous fall and there can be a permanent fall. So this LED indicator will show you identify which kind of fault that your line has currently. So if it is the instant LED, this shows the instantaneous trip, which ANSI code is 50 With delay type of LED, that means it's the delay trip, which ANSI code is 51. And for high current, it shows the ANSI code of 50-2. For indicator, we use a chip to the system of the ABC and the router to the portal.
And this is the local control section. We have multiple of options here. If from here, you can enable or disable the different kinds of reposer functions. For example, if you're going to use the ground protection, then you need to enable the ground here. And then if you're going to use the reclosing function, you have to enable the reclose enable. If you disable this button, it means that it, it will not have a reclosing function, so it will be just a one-shot circuit breaker. ยังอาจ